find it. Yay. Yay. <laughs> This is Rosa, our hospitalera. Hola. The best hospitalera in the world. <laughs> hola, hola. So we have a beautiful day to go walking. <laughs> it's day 23 and it's minus 2 degrees Celsius. There's ice everywhere around. Santa Clara, Alberg Santa Clara, and um, it's by far the best Alberg we've stayed in. It's like being at, at home. She should make sure you know, with all clean duvets on and on the bed. And it's very comfortable. She has a nice fire lit, and uh, she makes it very comfortable and uh, she's very welcoming. So we highly recommend that if you're in this area, which is Bersiano del Camino that you stay at her album because it's very very comfortable there and she's very nice oh, last night I uh, I've been having this pain while I'm walking in my foot and um, I think I've got a bunion a very small one um, and I think it's because my left hip's out and uh, so maybe I need to go see a chiropractor because anytime I get problems it's always on my left foot Also with the Alberg of Santa Clara, it's completely donativo, it's completely by donation. Um, it's just incredible, you know, we go in, uh, she, I said, well, how much is the washing? She has a washing machine, drying machine, and she goes, oh, it's just whatever, you know? And it's just like a money box and you can just put it in so she doesn't see how much money you put in. Um, she, she'll offer you food, you can, she'll have like as much tea to drink or coffee or whatever you want. There's all food sitting there. In the morning, she makes you breakfast. She doesn't expect anything. It's just you know, put whatever you want, put it in the money box, that's it. Um, just incredible. Incredible lady. She's gone through her challenges. She's had uh, cancer a few times. She's walked the Camino, I think at least three times. Um, and then her like, cancer stopped. Uh, while she walked, she had to carry all her medicines, all her herbs and everything that she was taking while she walked it. Um, and it, that's, it's really helped her. So she's, uh, she's completely being of service in what, in what she's doing um, just for and just being there for people with no, uh, no with no expectation she has no expectation of what you give and she just gives as much as as much as she can that's uh, it's a beautiful thing so stay in the Alberg of Santa Clara if you're walking the Camino make a special stop there last night I got Matthew to, uh, to have a look at my foot and he was uh, rubbing in integrate those two parts. <laughs> I mentioned in yesterday's video that we walked 20 kilometers, uh, but according to Rosa, the Alberga uh, Hospitalera, she said it was actually 23 kilometers from the previous Alberga to, to her one. And uh, she, she knows the place like the back of her hand. And uh, plus we walked an extra, at least a kilometer or more around the town, because we first of all went to the wrong Alberga. So we're definitely getting fitter and stronger. And walking 23, 24 kilometers 
is uh, it's not such a big deal where before after kilometer 15 I used to start to get hard but yes it wasn't a big deal at all for I think either of us really <laughs> right? no comments <laughs> I can see it in, in her, it's just become easier for her. But just look at the day we're having. It's just beautiful. When, when, I, when I read some blog posts about people who had done the, um, who'd completed the Camino in the winter, they talked about, you know, weather like this and everything. And I uh, didn't talk about the, some of the horrendous weather that we'd experienced and sometimes people get that But uh, we've gone through some serious serious weather And um, to get a day like this is just that much more appreciative of it If you are walking the Camino, there are two Albergers that I definitely definitely recommend and that is the one in Granion um, And the, the one here in uh, Bersiano Santa Clara Al Alberga both of them stand out. Both of them go the extra mile in, in different ways. And it just makes such a difference. Just that, that attitude, that attitude of going the extra mile. Um, it's, it's just it's so much more appreciative when people do that. And it just makes such a difference to, to the person when they, when they do that, to their lives. And something we, Endeavour to do to the best of our ability and so then when we see it in others, it's, it's an awesome thing. Oh, how cute! Hello kitty cats. You enjoying the morning sun? Yes, we are. Little kittens. Enjoying the morning sun. Lovely, isn't it? Lovely to get a bit of sun. This is the first village we're entering. And we're just seeing if we can maybe get a cup of something here tea or something. Warm ourselves up. Although it's not that cold really. We've got all the warm gear on. When the path is straight and the way is easy underfoot, then I find this a good time to do some walking meditation. And all it requires is to walk as erect as possible. All the breathing in and out through the nose. Same as if you were doing seated meditation. And keep the eyes on the horizon the whole time. If it's a bit rocky under, under, underfoot, then you're looking at your feet and looking where to step. But when the path is, is straight, then you don't need to look down. So I just look straight ahead. I look at the horizon, put a smile on my face. It's very important as well. I smile, breathe in now through the nose. It's hard to smile when the mouth is open. It's more like a grin then. So breathe in now through the nose, walk straight. Drives on the horizon, at the same time not focused but slightly unfocused. So then we're taking in everything all around, our peripheral vision and everything. Do this for as long as possible. Sometimes the thoughts will take us away and then we'll be looking down at the ground again. And then we gotta snap back into it and look up again and be present with what we're doing. Back to the breath and keep doing that. And that's the, in my experience, the best antidote to depression or feeling down or feeling sad or anything is just, just to do that. Remember the smile, breathing deep, keeping the eyes on the horizon. Every time you notice the eyes drop, lift them back up again. Awesome feeling. synchronicities on this uh, journey uh, so far and one that I forgot to mention that is just, just awesome was last week uh, we were staying in Granion and you know, it's and there's virtually nothing in Granion but there was a little pharmacy so 
went down to the pharmacy and said, do you have anything that's homeopathic for the teething? And they said, no, they, they, they didn't. So, okay, so we, we came back up to the Alberga and then like, like an hour later or something, a couple of guys turned up to the Alberga, a couple of German guys, and one of them was a homeopath and he pulled out his whole homeopathic kit Homeopathic. <laughs> it was just, uh, it, was, it was just incredible. Um, and, and then he said, "Okay, we'll just run some tests, see what he really needs. Okay, we'll give him some of the chamomile." We set off at just just before 9.30 this morning. It's now 20 to 5. Um, just almost approaching Manthea, I think it's called. And it just gets to the stage in the day when you've just been walking so long that all you can do is just go. I can't even do it now. My lips are cold. <laughs> no, it's gone. But this happens to me after about eight hours of walking. I just completely relax. No, everything, my bone body relaxes. My body's just walking by itself. And I just feel my face just completely relax. And then I start going. <laughs> yeah, like that. Just one kilometer out of Mancia now. I'm the sort of person who likes to, well, I don't know, I, I get excited whenever I'm close to my destination and I want to speed up. So my um, my feeling is to speed up and get there, um, get there soon. You know, kind of like a, like a dog when he's near his house, he suddenly sees, he realizes that he's, or senses he's near the house and he starts speeding up or he's in the car and he gets all excited. Um, I'm kind of like that. And Victoria is like, she starts slowing down. <laughs> we get near the destination, she starts slowing down, slowing down. And I'm like, well, I want to speed up. And she starts slowing down and going slower. Maybe it's because we've walked for a long time and she's tired. Um, so it's uh, this whole Camino has been an exercise in patience for me in so many ways, whether it's getting up in the morning and getting together to go out the door or when we're walking or you know when we make a stop and we're getting ourselves together i i just move at a different pace doing everything and uh, so i uh, just learning the patience and being patient i notice some people they get up in the morning and uh, they're very efficient and they've got all their stuff together and they boom 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 they're out the door in five minutes on the camino before the sun rises and if i was doing it by myself i'd kind of be, be the same as that um, but, but I'm not. I'm here with Victoria and Indigo and I love it and I'm getting so many more uh, learnings and development through doing it with the family and uh, patience is a huge one for me right now. It's just being patient and patient and that comes with being the servant again as it keeps on coming up for me which is vital. 27k and almost 8 hours later we are in Mancia de las Mulas and this one looks promising. Alberg, El Jardín, has food, has Wi-Fi. Let's see if it's open. That's the thing, that's the exciting adventure about doing the Camino in winter. Is you never know if it's going to be open or not. Sometimes it says on the sheet it is open all year round and then you get there and it's not. So, so all part of the adventure. One thing you've got to be aware of here in Spain is the uh, is the guard dogs. Some of them are very vicious and ferocious. You've got to be aware of these ones especially here. <laughs> Honestly, they're barking their heads off at me just there. Then I turn the camera on, put it on them, and I'm just like, oh, what's that? One thing that hits me walking into Mancia here is the smell. Um, it's kind of like an industrial sort of town. It doesn't look very pretty or anything. 
um, and it smells like sulfur or something, some something coming from a factory. Not very nice. All right, this salad burger definitely looks open. It's got a sign outside and everything. Looks pretty snazzy. Watch this. Cool. Well done, darling. You just walked 27 kilometers. Yay. Yay. Well done. Well done. Little water dragon. You just sleep. You've been teething today. Yeah, and he's been teething quite a bit today, but lucky enough we had some uh, chamomile tea to give him and some uh, other herbal remedies and homeopathic stuff and look at him now, all lovely. Uh-huh. Oh yeah. Oh dear. Run a bus? In the go! We're on a bus. This is such an exciting adventure, isn't it? What an exciting adventure we're on. Wow. Wow. All right, so we got into the the Alberger there, and it was actually a meatery as well as an Alberger. It just smelled of meat, and as vegans, we just... Couldn't stay there. Couldn't stay there. Um, and uh, just didn't get a good, really good feeling about Mancia here. I don't want to say it too loud in case there's any locals on, on the bus. Um, <laughs> but we're right on the on the outskirts of Leon. And uh, a guy said to us the other night in the Alberg, he says, you know, once you get to uh, once you get here, you're right in the outskirts. Get a local bus into Leon because it's uh, it's it's a it's a horrible walk in. Um, it's very dangerous with the roads and everything. It's not really cut out for uh, pilgrims walking. And uh, and uh, so what we decided, we got here and we thought, okay, well, instead of waiting till the morning to get the local bus in, um, let's just get the bus in now, and then we can have a night in, in Leon, and then the whole day tomorrow in Leon, and then that can be like our, kind of like our day off, and then we start again the, the day after that. Yeah? Yeah. How do you feel about that? I think it's fantastic. How do you feel, Indigo? <laughs> wow. We've worked really hard this last week. We worked, what, 20, we did 26k today? 27k today. 27k today. Uh, this week, just, we walked into the wind for at least seven days straight, walking onto a head-on wind, off freezing, uh, wet, stormy weather, through bogs, through mud. Man, it's been a, it's been a really tough week up there. Uh, so we're looking forward to a day, a day off tomorrow in Leon. Why not? Indigo's favourite thing in the world is a map. Give him a map and he'll be contented for hours. <laughs> 